Hi everyone, this video will cover week 5 of quarter 4 and we're gonna talk about basic concepts of probability. Most essential learning competencies. Number 36, illustrates an experiment, outcome, sample space, and effect. Number 37, counts the number of occurrences of an outcome in an experiment. A table, D diagram, systematic listing, and fundamental counting Number 36 illustrates an experiment, outcome, sample space, and effect. Number 37 counts the number of occurrences of an outcome in an experiment. A table, T diagram, systematic listing, and fundamental counting principle. Now let's discuss first the definition of terms. Probability is the possibility of occurrences of events in a man's life or the chance that something will happen, which can be expressed as a fraction, a decimal, or a percent. Probability experiment is a chance process that leads to a well-defined result called outcome. Next, experiment refers to any situational activity that involves chance. It can be in the form of making observations or taking measurements. Examples, flipping a coin and rolling a dime. Outcome is the result of a single trial of an experiment. So as you can see, I have here two experiments, flipping a coin and rolling a dime. So in a single trial, so flipping a coin, meron tayong Two possible outcomes, whether head or tail. In rolling a die, in a single trial, ang possible outcome natin, whether one, whether two, three, four, five, or six. Alright? Sample space is the set of all the possible outcomes or sample points. Sample point. It's just one of the possible outcomes. To further understand sample point, I have here a table. For our first column are all the experiments. Second, all the sample space. And third are the sample points. So for our experiments, we have flipping two coins, rolling a die, rolling a coin, and a die simultaneously. And last, drawing a card from a deck of 52 cards. So here, kapag sinabi naman nating sample space, is the set of all possible outcomes ng ating experiments. Alright? So here, next sample point, kapag sinabi nating sample points, again, is just one of the possible outcomes. So in our first experiment, head and head. So, this is just one of the possible outcomes of flipping two points. Next, 5. So, this is the sample point or just one of the possible outcomes of rolling a die. Next, T3 or tail and number 3. So, this is just one possible outcome of rolling a coin and I die simultaneously. And next, a sample point, win of cards. This is just one of the possible outcomes of drawing a card from a deck of 52 cards. And note, queen is not a sample point because there are four queens which are four different sample points in a deck of cards. Next, event. Is any set of one or more outcomes satisfying some given conditions? Examples. Getting a three tails when flipping a coin price. Next, choosing a queen from a deck of cards, any of the four queens. And last, getting an odd number, one, three, or five, when rolling a die. 
And now, let's try to use the basic concepts of probability to identify the following. Experiment, probability, sample space, sample point, or event. So, I'll give you 5 seconds for each number to think of your answer. First, 3 fourths. Alright. Probability. Number 2, 50%. Great. Probability. Next, right or wrong. Okay. Sample space. Next, king of spades. Okay, this is an example of sample point. Next, getting ahead in a single toss of coin. Okay, an example of event. Next, tossing a coin and rolling a die simultaneously. Alright, an example of experiment. Next, choosing an ace from a deck of standard cards. Event. Guessing the number of marbles in a container. Event. Alright. Next, it is a chance process which leads to well-defined results. Experiment. And now, let's discuss organizing outcomes of an event and the fundamental counting principles of mark number 37. Counting the number of occurrences of an outcome in an experiment can be organized using four methods. Problem number one. On a Saturday morning, you wash most of your clothes and they are still wet. Your friend invites you to attend his birthday party and you are left with only two pants and three shirts. In how many different ways can you trust? Okay, so for our first method is using a table. A table of pants and shirts. So A, let A, B, and C be the shirts. Alright? So meron tayo three shirts and then one and two be the pants. Okay? So ipagpa-partner, partner natin siya. The question here is how many different ways you can dress? So for our first shirt, pwede natin siya i-partner sa ating first pants. So, that is A1. Second shirt, if a partner natin sa first pants. So, B1. Third shirt, if a partner natin sa first shirt, that is C1. And then next, yung first shirt natin, pwede natin siyang i-partner sa second pants natin. So, that is A2. And yung second shirt natin, if a partner natin sa second pants, so that is B2. And then, ang ating third shirt, pwede natin i-partner sa second pants. So, that is C2. So, then, there are six different ways you can dress. Right? We can also use the second method, which is three diagram. So, again, I have here three shirts and then two pants. So, for our first shirt, pwede siyang i-partner kay first pants and then kay second pants. Next, ang second shirt natin, pwede siyang i-partner kay first pants, pwede rin kay second pants. And the same with the third shirt, pwede siyang i-partner kay first pants, and then pwede rin kay second pants. So, kung bibilangin natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
5 and 6. So there are 6 different ways to dress. So ito, 3 diagram display all the possible outcomes of an event. So each branch in a tree diagram represents a possible outcome. So tree diagram can also be used to find number of possible outcomes and calculate the probability of possible outcome. Alright? Our third method is systematic listing. Again, A, B, and C be the shirts and 1 and 2 be the pants. So, in systematic listing, the outcomes for an event can be listed in an organized or systematic way to make sure that none of the possible outcomes is missed out. So, as you can see here, so first shirt, first font, first shirt, second font, second shirt, first font, second shirt, second font, third shirt, first font, and third shirt, second font. So, naka-organize yung ating listing. So, there are six different ways. Alright? And fourth method is the fundamental counting principle. So, to easily find the total outcomes, multiply the outcomes for each individual event. So, I have here two pawns times three shirts is equal to six different weights. Alright? Problem number two. Miss Casabuena is planning to buy a new car. There are two available body styles. Seven on arch back and five colors blue, black, gray, red, and pink. How many different choices of body styles and color can she choose? So we have here the style set in a hatchback and then the color blue, black, gray, red, and pink. So you can pause this video and try to answer. Okay, so using the table, so how many choices do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So the answer here is we have 10 possible choices. So again, we use a table to find the answer. The same problem, we can also use the tree method. So here we have here, two different styles and five different colors. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And also using listing method and using principle of counting. So two styles times five colors equal ten possible choices. Okay? Problem number three. There are four different coins in this piggy bank and six colors on this spinner. If you pick one coin and spin the spinner, how many possible outcomes could you have? So we have four different coins, 50 cents, 1 peso, 5 peso, and 10 peso coin. And six colors, we have red, green, yellow, blue, orange, and gray. You can pause this video and try to answer. You can use any method. Okay? Using our first method, which is using a table. So here are the possible outcomes. Alright, so kung bibilangin natin, we have here 24 possible outcomes. Alright? We can also use here a theory method, so we can use an illustration, and then listing method, and last is principle of counting. So 4 coins times 6 colors is equal to 24 possible outcomes, right? That's all for this video. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good day.